You may see some things in this video that bring back past memories and extreme nostalgia. I will not be held responsible for your impulse purchases on eBay after watching this video. Be warned. Nostalgia sells. Go figure. I'm sure you know that anyway. But today I want to touch on a few items that have been going out of my store and selling for pretty good money recently. Pretty regularly on this channel I have said I'm going to make more what sold videos and I just don't do it because I live from week to week on YouTube and Instagram. I make it up as I go. Whatever I've done that week I film it and then I share it. So, um, you know, they come when they come. but. I am going to actually go ahead in the next few weeks and start to do some more regular sold. I want to go back to doing the bread and butter stuff, the what sold in this YouTube video, and random what solds like this with some high items, some nostalgia, the fun stuff. And nostalgia is a big part of my business. It is more so a hobby than anything. I just love this stuff. I find it so much fun stepping back in time, reliving my childhood and, you know, the past years. And there's always some really cool stuff that you can find in op shops. Now, a lot of this stuff, if you grew up through these eras, so the 80s and 90s, you will remember this stuff. You might know a lot of it. You might know most of it. Or if you're not familiar with it, you might not know it at all. So for someone that isn't familiar with it, it could be something for you to look out for, whether it be in an op shop, your local gum tree, Facebook marketplace, anywhere. You just never know where these things can pop up. There's so many different sourcing methods. I feel like... Within the YouTube community, it's very centered around op shopping, which is great, it's good fun, but there's so many other places, markets, everything. So these can be a few items for you to keep looking out for. So let's get into it. One of the best finds I've had in there, and so far the best find this year, My Pet Monster from the... Now this is from the 80s. I was born in the late 80s, so I'm a 90s kid as such. But uh, a lot of people from my era may not remember these. They may not have had them. The 80s kids, they probably do. So if you do want to pass one of these, you may not realize that these are worth so much money. Now this one was a little bit damaged. These have sold upwards of $400 when he has his handcuffs, which is an additional accessory. I didn't have those. There was a little hole in the chest, but I got $200 for him. He sold three times. So some non-payers on that one. They don't worry me. Um, after four days, I cancel their order and relist it. Uh, just don't let that shit get to you. They're going to happen. They happen all the time. Block them. You can set your store to people that haven't paid for items, can't purchase from you. Um, yeah, take all that into account. It's annoying, especially on a high-priced item, but he eventually sold and we got $200. So take out the additional uh, $7 investment and your fees on eBay, $167 profit out of the uh, big fella that I found on the floor in the toy section. So that's definitely one to keep your eye out for. I um, picked him up for 100 I want to find a spot on the shelf for him and I'll price him a bit higher. And if I can get that, you know, 300 mark, that'd be uh, great. He is from a very popular children's show in the 90s from Australia. A lot of my American following had no idea who he was. A lot of people find him very creepy. Uh, I find it super nostalgic. And if you do ever spot one of these, they're definitely worth looking at. They're really hot right now. I bought this one on eBay. I snagged him in an auction for $115. So the good thing about some of these sort of things, you know, some people aren't looking for. That's why I don't like doing auctions personally for majority of things, unless they're bundles, because the person that will pay the top dollar for EC this week might not be looking for him until next week. So I find eBay a very good platform to source items on. And when I seen him for $115, I jumped on him. I wanted to keep him as a personal, and I will eventually get another one, because uh, EC is awesome. But um, $115, I'm not complaining. Now this particular doll has sold for upwards of $400. I did mention that in the last video, but mine didn't have his jacket and there was a little stain on him. But I still sold him for $270 plus shipping. 
And when you take out your fees and all that sort of garbage, $119.90 profit from an eBay purchase. So um, that's why it really pays to be sort of niche specific with a lot of things because eBay is a great sourcing platform. There's so much on there. Now it's time to thank through them pretty quick. The Bratz dolls you would have seen in another video. I paid 60 bucks for this whole lot. Now, you can part these out and generally get around $30 each, but I just wanted to piss them off. So, I put them up as a bundle for $250, and they sold. So, plus shipping, $157.50 profit. Brat Stoles, definitely look out for them. They're really good, they bundle well. Bootleg toys, I touch on a lot. I love bootleg toys. Not all bootlegs sell well, but certain ones do. Street Sharks, a big one for me. They've been moving really well. Somebody from America purchased all three of these off of me. Um, two of them I got from my good friend. Well, Megan gave me a lead. Cash converters were clearing them online for 15 bucks each. Megan passed that information on to me. I said, uh, go for it if you want them. But she said, no, that's the sort of stuff you like. I had a couple of them. I kept a few of them. But um, these particular boots I already had. So we chucked them up. And there was also this other one that came in a bundle for nine. I got him for nine bucks. So total, they've actually paid $250 plus shipping to America for the lot. And when you take out cost of goods and fees, that is $182.85 profit on those three sharks. So um, the booties, they go well. Websites like Cash Converters, Secondhand Websites, Salvos have them as well, Vinnies have them as well. It's definitely worth having a sniff because sometimes they just underprice their items and they are selling within Australia. I find a lot of vintage toys are usually shipped off to America. The majority of my vintage toys I get, I put high price on them because they go to America. Um, there's also this one, he is actually also from the same line. He is a Mannix Street Shark. He's an extreme dinosaur street shark, but he sold for 90 bucks. So he's on his way over to America as well. Uh, he came in a bundle, which cost me $7 for him. So very happy with that. The pop vinyl sell. Yeah, I love pops. I don't love posting them. And I've mentioned before, uh, collectors can be very fussy, but I plucked one out of my own collection. I started moving on a lot of the Batman stuff and Catwoman here, I didn't realize was actually sitting at such a good value. $120 for her and cost of goods is zero because that came off of the shelf. Um, pretty happy with that. I would have originally purchased that for about 10 bucks. So, and that was a few years ago, but Catwoman, 120 bucks plus shipping so now if you have been following along my last garage sale video i've got a heap of harry potter pop vinyls and uh this hogwarts express i'll show that one off because he sold for 90 dollars plus shipping so um look i am not complaining with that at all that whole bundle i paid about 50 bucks 60 bucks so when you take out fees and all that sort of garbage uh 58 dollars profit on the hogwarts so pop vinyl still sell a lot of it is trash a lot of it's very common we're looking for chasers these weren't chasers but some of the retired and vaulted uh pop vinyls can go for really good money because they are no longer in production they don't get made the more people that want to collect them and keep them the less become in existence for sale therefore price increases so uh go figure out pop vinyls they still sell well definitely worth looking at but always you gotta just look what they are selling for at the current rate because some of them they'll sit forever and they won't sell for much so uh, that's one to be careful of but uh, they can still go well I have a few plugs in this video and one of them is to one of my followers and she is such an amazing person she has reached out to me a few times via eBay she's not on social media and she is a Big, big toy collector. She loves her vintage toys and nostalgia, and that's why I thought it'd be fitting to give her a bit of a mention in this video. Now, Sam is up on the Gold Coast, and I know she has uh, been struggling a lot with a few things of late with her health, and look, we wish you all the best, Sam. Um, we appreciate everything that you do here, the support for the channel for one, but also the support for my business. She has been buying a lot of stuff she sees on the channel and then just within my store, and um, when I say she's a collector, she does love so much stuff. She's right into the Goosebumps, the Power Rangers, the Street Sharks, all the fun stuff. And she has been a regular shopper. So I hope you're doing well out there, Sam. I really do appreciate you every single time you come into my store and all the support you've been giving me. But uh, this is some of the stuff Sam's been buying. Doesn't she have a fantastic collection growing? And I am so happy that I could uh, help you with that collection, Sam. Right, on to some random stuff. Do you remember the Mambo sign I picked up last year, ages ago? 
Uh, we put him up on the wall for a bit, just didn't really suit. I was gonna hang on to it, I just thought it was kinda cool. It was really well made. I love seeing some of these custom art jobs. I think um, the, the skills of some people is absolutely incredible and it was 15 bucks. I thought it did not suit me, I wanted to move this on because obviously Mambo is very collectible. People love it. It's not an official piece, but uh, it was definitely a very well done piece. And smacked him up for auction and it didn't really go off. So. I listed it up just at a random price, which was about $180, and I got an offer of $140 plus ship. So, um, it sold within a few days too, so I probably could have got more, but uh, look, I'm glad that one's gone on. Um, it was a pretty big piece, big chunky piece, but uh, someone's gonna hang that on their wall and probably appreciate it. So, um, the Mambo sign's out of here. I, I've listed it and she's gone. Um, and we've got this Panasonic camera. I don't know if your parents had one of these back in the day. They film the home movies on it. It's a pretty big unit. I seen that at a garage sale just recently for 10 bucks. They told me it worked, got it home. It did not work. Um, well, it did work, sorry. It just did not hold the battery charge and it didn't have a charger with it. The only charger was a car charger. So I sold it for parts not working. $75 plus ship and it sold within a couple of days. So, um, I mean, if that had all its bits and pieces, I probably could have got, could have got a lot more. But uh, some of the complete ones were selling for around the 140. So I'm pretty happy with that, 10 buck purchase. And hats, hats are a big thing. I love hats, but I hate hats. I hate hats that are worth under 30 bucks. They give me the shit. I hate hats that are modern, they give me the shit. But old hats, especially footy lids, I love them. I got a big bulk lot of them a while ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a photo where I had a few of them there. Uh, these have been selling really well. These go really well on Depop. I've sold a few on Depop and Facebook as, uh, sorry, not Facebook, on eBay as well. Um, so these have been moving around the 70 to 80 to $90 mark. And I paid around 20 bucks each, I wanna say, on average. So um, look, footy hats, especially the older AFL hats, I definitely wanna look out for, they can sell well. I see a lot of people asking me, well, a lot of people ask me, they pick up footy hats that are like member 2011 and stuff. Uh, I avoid that stuff every day of the week because they just sit and sit. They are handed out free to members and generally people won't buy them online unless they are super old or potentially Fremantle Dockers or West Coast Eagles. Which puts me on the next sale, which is this polo shirt. Fremantle Dockers 90s polo, uh, $150 we got for this plus shipping and it cost me $50 on Depop. So when you take out your fees and cost of goods, it's $75.50 profit. The reason I jumped on this, Fremantle Dockers Vintage is probably one of the best, well it is the best seller out of the AFL. Um, they came into the competition uh, mid 90s and they just have those crazy ass colors, green, purple, um, people love it. And some of the old shit is so cool. Uh, I love a lot of the Frio stuff. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a Frio supporter, but I do love vintage Frio gear. So if you do spot a bit of old Frio stuff, it's definitely worth looking at. But modern Frio is probably one of the worst sellers out other than the Gold Coast Suns. So um, yeah, this one, 50 bucks into 150. Uh, Depop to eBay, something I do a lot of. Um, I share some niches on there. There's other things that I'm finding on there pretty regularly that I kind of keep to myself for now, but you know, eventually I'll share that. I'm experimenting with things, but there's a lot of niche products that just don't get the eyes that eBay get, you know? Um, there's so many eyes on eBay. There's absolutely jack shit on Depop in comparison. So you can sometimes snag a bargain. Now you can make offers. Uh, you can be one of those low ball and dogs and get yourself a steal. But uh, yeah, I've done really well out of Depop in the last 12 months. More from purchasing than selling. While we're on the matter, we've got this t-shirt here, the Stone Cold Steve Austin from 1998. I also purchased on Depop for $65. Now, I love to pick up a lot of the wrestling tees, a lot of the sort of Attitude Era or, you know, late mid to late 90s. Uh, big fan of that stuff. I was gonna keep this as a personal. I thought it was a really cool shirt. Love Stone Cold stuff. I think Stone Cold stuff is going to pop now because he's actually going to WrestleMania in a few weeks. Um, and this was before that announcement was released. But uh, I paid 65 for this and sold it on eBay for 110 plus ship. So when you take out all the bullshit, it is only a $35 profit, which is still a good little profit. Um, don't get me wrong, especially when you're buying online. I didn't have to go out and physically source it. Just a notification let me know it was there and I snagged it. But um, you know, $35 is still pretty good. 
but yeah, I was going to, I planned to keep this one for a little while. It was uh, going to be a little personal piece, but it was just a bit boxy of a fit on me. I didn't like it. So sold it, made a profit. A few shout outs on this one and one to uh, my good buddy at Westside Retro, Brandon, who was on my channel at the end of last year when he picked up the PS4 Move stuff and the virtual reality headset from Cashings. He made big bucks on that. But uh, because of that, he made me a little bit more aware of that stuff and I found some of the controllers because he actually told me that day that, uh, and I think he said on the video, that the controllers alone go for really good money. And I did find a boxed set on Facebook Marketplace for 60 bucks. So uh, I grabbed it and they sat for about three weeks, but we ended up selling them for $160 plus ship. So that is a profit of 79 bucks 20 after you take out all your bullshit. So gaming stuff, I'm gonna jump on the gaming stuff. I got lucky with a little local deal here. Um, this is sort of comes down to putting yourself out there, letting people know what you do. Uh, thank you very much, Nicole, for the hookup on this. So I got onto a little 64 deal here, and you know, the photos that came through, some of them she pulled out the boxes, so I didn't realize that some of the, they were all boxed, every single game, or nearly every game was boxed, all the good ones were. Some of them I knew they were, and she sort of wanted to know what it was worth. So I gave what I thought was a sort of rough value and said, you know, give or take, I sell on eBay, I've got to take out fees, etc., and pay tax on it. Um, I said what I was willing to pay for it. If she wanted that, then let's make a deal. Uh, she did come back. We ended up making a deal. She sent this stuff to me, a lot of box Nintendo 64 games. So uh, once again, sort of put people know what I do. They talk to other people. Uh, I advertise that I do it and they contact you. It's uh, one of the best ways of sourcing in my opinion. Anyway, very lucky, very hard to get onto this sort of stuff. I haven't done a lot of it in my time because I'm not a huge gaming seller, but when I do get this sort of stuff, I will sell it. This was a really good deal. I paid $700 for the lot. Um, there was about 14, 15 items in total, and it was a Nintendo 64 console with a bunch of box games, and they sold so quick, so goddamn quick. I put up a post on Instagram, my inbox got hammered, so I just listed them and let whoever was messaging me go from. I apologise that I didn't get any of the messages till late. Um, it was just, yeah, it was pretty overwhelming the amount of messages, inboxes that I got. A lot of lowballers, you little bastards trying to lowball me, and uh, majority of you were absolute champions wanting to pay full price outside of eBay anyway. Um, but anyway, these all sold that day, I listed. Um, maybe I think one of them was like a day after or something. So these ones have sold already. Uh, look, you got the Zelda, absolutely fantastic. 280 on that one. Uh, I'm not sure if all of these were from followers. I know definitely the Donkey Kong. Uh, my good buddy Chrissy Furlong loves Donkey Kong. He was one of the ones messaging me um, and he snapped that up on the store. So I do appreciate the support, brother, and I'm glad that went to you. And for anyone else, if you are a follower of mine and you did end up purchasing, purchasing one of these, I do appreciate uh, the buyers. But these sold so good. It ended up being, you know, that day I sold about two and a half grand on eBay, which was uh, one of my best days ever. So um, uh, there's uh, just really hot items. They went really fast. I was probably a little bit under market value and they moved quick and I'm happy with that. I still have the console. I'm probably a little bit cheeky, a little bit cheeky, a little bit up there in price on the console. I bundled that with a couple of games. Uh, might lower that, but uh, Nintendo 64, don't we love the game and stuff? Thank you very much, Coco, for joining me again. And if you've made it this far, I really do appreciate it. There's a couple of little videos here that YouTube think you might like. So if you do, have a watch. See what you reckon. Let me know. Love ya.